travel the cold lane. Of course, I came to show you shrapnel. Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I have a hardcore ricochet demolition match on Skid Row. And you might be asking me, where did you get a hardcore ricochet match? Well, this is a private match, so we made it up ourselves. I've just got a game with, with some friends. We have ten of us in here. And just decided to play some games that you can't play in a normal playlist. So I think we played a, a lot of ricochet matches, because that's one thing about hardcore is killing your own teammates kind of sucks. So I, I tend to like the ricochet matches better when you kill one of your own guys, you end up killing yourself. Kind of helps you be a more careful player, make sure that you're putting shots where they actually need to be and you're not just spraying because if you spray through some walls and don't know what's over there, you might end up killing yourself. And I th we played some hardcore ricochet domination. Uh, we played some hardcore search and destroy where we had two lives instead of just one life, which that was interesting. And it's cool to just get in private matches and make up game types that aren't possible in public lobbies. It could be a lot of fun. And I plan on doing this again if other people would like to. I wish there was a way to turn tubes off in private matches. This wicked shells was tubing us up. He said he wasn't able to get anything working so he was just gonna tube us. I got him there. He's got last stand rocking too. Oh, shells. So I'd like to thank all you guys that went out to XJaw's video and recommended me. That was very nice of all of you. I appreciate it. I read all the comments and I think it's just really cool that I got people that like what I'm doing because I like what I'm doing. And it's good to get positive feedback and I would do this even if no one was watching because I pretty much was doing just that with no one watching for the first six months of my YouTube career. I think just up until a few weeks ago I had under 50 subscribers. So my channel has been growing rapidly in the past few weeks which has encouraged me to make more videos. So if you look back over all my videos, you'll see that I post like maybe one or two a week, sometimes even skipping a couple weeks. I mean, I was recording, but I wasn't really motivated to upload a lot of content to YouTube just because nobody was really watching. So when you get people watching, it is definitely more encouraging to make more so you can get more feedback. It's almost like a, a drug addict. It's an addiction where the, the more you do... I don't know if that's a good analogy or not. Making YouTube videos is like a, being a drug addict. But I've already said it, so let me see if I can make that work. Well, I guess when you get positive feedback on your videos, and you get a lot of subscribers or start getting more subscribers it's it makes you feel good and I guess doing drugs the reason why they do drugs is it makes them feel good so there you go same thing making YouTube videos and having people like them and subscribe it's like being a drug addict I said it <laughs> but it definitely makes it more enjoyable to do so that is why I have been doing it more because I'm um, getting feedback from you guys and it, it really makes me enjoy making videos more and I appreciate that so I wouldn't be making as many videos and posting them if you guys weren't watching them and commenting on them and basically enabling me to want to make more so I appreciate it. 
So back to what's going on in the game. Uh, we let them have B just because A is a lot easier to protect. So let B go and then you can have more guys on one target to protect it. And that was the plan. And there I just stepped out into the hallway of death and lost a Harrier. So I wasn't too happy about that cheddar. Stopped my second Harrier which would have been my third Harrier. So I'm trying to collect Harriers because I'm running I think I'm running three, five, seven. So I'm just trying to get as many Harriers as I can for the next round. And I think Rusty who's on Rusty Bullet who's on my team is also collecting emergency airdrops. So in the next round we have a lot of stuff saved up for them to rain death from above. So there I got two Harriers saved up, ready to go. But we were, I guess we were kind of neglecting the bomb as we were running around killing everyone. But we do get to the bomb in time and defuse it. Don't mean to ruin the suspense for you. I have to listen to Harrier standing by every time I spawn now because I'm not wanting to use it. Those reminders can get annoying, especially when you're dying a lot. I guess if you don't die a lot, it's not that not a big problem. But I was dying a lot right here. I'm getting sick of the dude telling me that the hair is ready. I know the hair is ready. I'm saving it, mister. Actually, I'm going to correct myself now that I've seen the scoreboard there. It was PL913 that was collecting the emergency airdrops. So here comes... Here come the pain! Say hello to my little friends! So we're about to go Scarface on these guys. Dropping the first Harrier. And I think you definitely get an advantage in demolition if you defend first so it's kind of some luck of whether you get to defend first because if you defend first you could build up kill streaks because you're securing a position and playing defensively holding down targets while other people have to run through the doors and come to you and you could pick them off and build up kill streaks and save them up for when you have to be the aggressor because when you're running, gunning, and rushing, you tend to die more just because it's, it's hard to enter a secured area that is being guarded. So it definitely helps to have some kill streaks saved up for your turn to rush the bombs. And that's what we did. We got uh, emergency airdrops, and I had saved up two Harriers. And it definitely helps. I think Melvin Muskets, ha Melvin's musket had a couple sentry guns. I had to go through a couple UAVs to get to my next Harrier, but I think I think we would have had this planted a lot sooner if shells wasn't tubing us so much. Tubes ripped us up, as you'll notice. We were pretty much dominating this match, so he was resorting, he was using all resources available to try to get, to try to win, if that's a defensive argument. There, I, d I got shot. He shot me. There. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny Re revenge right there. I just love it when Call of Duty does revenge spawns. Someone kills you and then they put you in the precise place that you need to be to get a revenge kill on that person. And that can really suck if you're the one getting revenge killed. PL913's got the chopper gunner running. And here comes Shells with a noob tube. But we 
We've almost got one bomb blown up. We got both planted. Arg. Travis was able to defuse. And here I almost get it planted. Or do I get it? Yeah, I do get it planted. And then I'm trying to defend and tubed. I hate getting tubed. It's the worst feeling. I don't mind dying in a face-to-face -face gunfight. But when a tube just comes out of nowhere and blows me up. It's so frustrating. And this game is about to be wrapped up. So, in closing, I just want to say that I've had a lot of comments. People saying, you know, hit me up on Xbox. My gamer tag is yada yada yada. I like to play Call of Duty. Dot com. And I don't really have time to go through all the comments and find your gamer tag to add you. So if you want to add me, my friends list is not full yet. You can add me on Xbox Live. I don't have PlayStation. It's only Xbox. So if you want to add me, you can add me. And so once my Xbox friends list gets full, I'll just probably start going through and removing people that don't play a lot or... I don't know, who are really bad. So if you're really bad, I might play with you a few times, or we could play in some open lobbies, but you're probably not going to have too much fun if you're getting stomped on. So, hit me up. There, There's the win, 2-0. and oh. Sorry to have to stomp on my friends on the other team. Oh, I went 39-18. and 18. And that was definitely a fun match to play. I would like to do it again. And I didn't get to stomp on everyone in all the matches. I could post some matches where I really got destroyed by the other guys. So I decided to post one where I did good. Because it's my channel. And that's how it works. Alright, well thanks for watching.